in this video, I'm gonna take you to two resorts here in Manila that will remind you of Las Vegas. That's right, we're gonna check it out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Manila series. And today, we're gonna check out two resorts in this area called Asiana. It's right by the Mall of Asia. We're going to Solaire, which is a newer casino and resort. And we're also gonna go check out Okada. First, we're gonna go in here to Solaire. I was actually supposed to stay here with AFWB, but our trip got canceled and we weren't able to go do a football camp here but it was a prospective place to stay I think we already had a deal to stay here so we're gonna check it out see what kind of stores they have to offer I probably won't be able to show you the casino because they're super maarte about showing casino and stuff in there but the lobby the pool and all that good stuff we'll make sure to show you that check out this entrance right here pretty nice little fountain here too and this place is called the Yakumi Looks like a Japanese restaurant, sushi. Really nice tones here. Kind of reminds you like of an Asian Bellagio in a way. Italian steakhouse, Finestra. This is Pour Toujours. It's a jewelry store, obviously. And look at all this. Yeah, this is definitely giving me the Bellagio wind vibes for sure. We just made it over here to the Solaire Resort in uh, Asiana area and we're gonna tour around the grounds we can't record obviously in the casino it's just like vegas but it's one of the newer resorts here i haven't seen it ever before very high class you can't even uh, go in with uh sando you can't show your arms here so i had to put on a brand new shirt that i just bought a couple hours back so in this video we're gonna just show you the grounds of solaire and also take you to okada which i think is another step up i heard and there it's just a couple of blocks down so i'll take a grab over that way and just compare it the las vegas of manila and this is their swimming pool area it overlooks the bay over here looks like some kids hanging out in the pool some families this is the waterside resto bar pretty nice and they got a sky tower entrance here man i really would like to stay here san laurent paris and some prada bulgari and fendi and then they have like a bar right here in the middle this reminds me of the grand canal shops in vegas that sushi place that's a really nice bar right there and this place across the way is called fresh and they got louis vuitton more stores here fendi and all that good stuff dude they're super maarte over here with like you, you have to wear your hat backwards, not forwards. It's so weird over here, dude. What do you call these things? Jacks? So obviously I can't show you the casino, but we'll show you some of the shops and the resort areas here. And uh, maybe try to grab a bite to eat. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see the vibe here, it's a little weird. They have this place called Patisserie here. Boss, Pandora, Lacoste. Look at that ube coconut mousse. That looks good. And then they have the whole cake of the ube coconut mousse over here too. My friends at AFWB also sent me here to check it out because they were talking about staying here if we did an AFWB camp in the Philippines eventually. And uh, right now, I don't know, man. Not starting off in the right foot. We'll see. Ooh, a coffee bean over here. Might need to get an afternoon pick-me-up. Maybe they have something uh, ube here. All right, there's a casino entrance. This is probably as far as I can go with recording. So we made it to the second floor. They call it the Forum. And there's a theater over here, so we can check out the theater. This is the entrance to the theater for Solaire. Really nice paintings over here. All right, I'm starting to get a Red Rock Summerlin vibe now. I do like the furniture over here. Looks really nice. Doesn't look like they have any shows or anything because the theater Solaire is right here and the store is empty. Miss Saigon is March 2024. Limang Daan full length ballet. Okay, that's early March. That's actually this weekend. And Miss Saigon lands sometime in March too. Okay, so there's two things going on around here. Really cool ceiling design here by the escalators. And this is the entryway to the theater. It's dark right now. And this is one of the VIP entries. That's the entry to the casino area. And they got a food court over here. Slot machines. Oh, cool. It's a handful of places. Yatai, Pan-Asian, Filipiniana, Americano, and the bakery. 
Interesting. They got ginataang ampalaya, chop suey. Ooh, kare kare. Shout out to my cousin Rachel. She loves that. Taksiu na isda with fish and their special of the day. Looks like they're putting a March drawing for this raptor right here. That looks pretty cool. Look at that chandelier up top. Look at this front entrance right here. They look like mini octopi right there. This is the entrance with waterfalls. And there's the registration for the resort itself. Smaller lobby. They do have a hotel lobby bar called Dragon Bar. Oh, look at that nice dragon right there. And that's where your registration is. Nice centerpiece. And then they have this Solaire boutique store over here. You can pick up some Solaire teddy bears or some glasses and all that. They do have rules here. Prohibited to enter, stay and play. Government officials, members of the AFP, people below 21, people included in the national database of restricted persons. Prohibited to roam around are financiers, loan sharks, and the like. Interesting. And a gaming employment license holder. Corner of the casino is their Solaire Rewards Club line. They do have food dogs in the front here, just like in Vegas. So this is the front area. <laughs> How you doing? The front area, they have like a fountain and there's fire that's going up there. All right, check that out. So they have a fountain in the front with a mini fire show and light show. That's pretty cool. And this is the front main entrance. And there is their car park here. Looks like they have about eight or nine levels. Hey, what's up, man? Musta. <laughs> hey, boss. How are you? I'm what's fine. your name? Serge. There's that fountain show that goes off every few minutes. You can't see it from the front, but it's right here in the main lobby. So, Solaire, I think it reminds me a little bit of Red Rock Casino. Uh, they are a lot stricter with rules here than they are in Vegas. Uh, I think that's because there's a lot of mandas out there and con artists that probably try to go into the casino and try to cheat their way into some money. But Solaire is okay. Kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. They said that you can only wear your hat backwards and then right when I put my hat back backwards, I walk by a dude wearing a hat forwards and then another dude wearing his hat forwards. So I'm like, yo. Be consistent if you're gonna tell somebody to wear your hat backwards all the time. All right, I've had enough of Solaire. Let's go to Okada. Let's see how Okada is. I have to hop a grab over that way. So we will hail the grab in the front entrance and get over to Okada. So in the Philippines, just so you guys know, they have security before you walk in. So make sure you know that and get your bags checked and you can't wear clothes that don't cover your shoulders. Thank you for visiting Okada Manila, Mr. J. Have a good day. Salamat. Thank you. So we made it here to the front of Okada. Really small pickup area, but nice. And you have your food dog. Oh, look, they even put pesos inside the teeth. I've never seen that before. Well, it is Lunar New Year. And they also put pesos down here. But there's no churro like it is in Resorts World. We made it to Okada. It is Japanese owned. And wow, I am digging this gold and pink vibes over here. And the entryway is a little more welcoming here. Let's go check out what they have to offer in Okada. This is the newest casino and resort here in Manila. And you can tell, it's really nice. Look at the design here in the entryway. Pink and gold, there's a registration over that way. Let's take a look there. Wow, like inverted tulips in the registration area. I would try to stay here. The chandeliers here on their lobby bar. I might have to grab a drink at this lobby bar before this video is over with. But wow, I would love to do a room review here and a hotel stay. And look at this centerpiece right here. Wow. So this is the lobby lounge and they have a ton of pastries over here. Look at that. 
the pastry shop at Okada Manila. Wow, look at that Le Cube pistachio praline. That stuff looks really nice and some baked goods. All right, this is the entryway over here. Nice elegant area so far. You get more of a Japanese feel here with the designs. Look at this, it's like a little bouquet of spring flowers that you can take pictures at. And the buffet here is called Medley Buffet. The buffet over at Solaire was that fresh buffet. You get 30% off your lunch buffet. And look at the entryway over here. Kind of reminds me of Catch over in Aria. All right, guys, don't tell me that this does not scream win and encore right here. It's almost like the win and encore buffet in a way. This place is called Luke Fook Jewelry. Right next to a Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein? No, my name's Marty. What movie is that? Calvin Klein, ain't he a dream? Comment below. Yeah, this totally reminds me of Encore and Win. That way where the entrance to XS is. Then you walk down this mini hidden hallway and it looks like there's another Q crane and claw over this way. Let's see what they have out here. Wow, it's like a mini Fremont Street, guys. Look at that. What is this? It's Fremont Street mixed with Grand Canal shops. There's the Q crane. You've seen these all over the different malls. They have a Nan hot pot over this way. I'm liking this place. There's a Nono's right there and a coffee bean and tea leaf. I see the Mary Grace down the way. Oh, it's locked. Boo, it's locked. This place is called Le Fleur. It's a nice little florist area in the middle of this awesome mall right here. You don't even have to wait till the end of the video for me to tell you Okada's the best. Pavarotti, pizza pasta. Pizza pasta over here, Pavarotti. <laughs> Salamat. They have a Fury style Southwestern flaming grill here. What's that? How are you? Oh, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. You wouldn't think there's a Texas Roadhouse in a place like this. It really does have that Grand Canal vibes here without the canal. Las Flores. Oh, this looks pretty nice. Mahilig ang mga Pilipino sa TGI Fridays. Ang daming mga TGI Fridays dito sa Pilipinas. And a bottomless mojito for only 425 pesos. You could tell this is their cheaper options area. You got Panda Express, Kumi, Momo, and Jollibee right here. You got a mini step and repeat banner right here. There's a little map of this area let's see where are we right now i think we're over in this way oh we are right here so this is called the fountain okada manila and then you still have this whole area of where the casino is cove manila is right there and the casino is wedged in between it this looks like an area that's still being developed but this is called thrillscape it looks like a nice playground running man style here and sure enough it is some sort of obstacle course here. That looks really fun. Well, I thought I saw my name. <laughs> there's, a, there's a John and a Jeremiah. This is like a little gladiator gauntlet. <laughs> Pretty cool. You got your El Pollo Loco here. And then in this corner is the Starbucks. And then another entryway, there's a Randy's Donuts. They're everywhere. I still haven't shown you guys the Philippines mugs yet. I'm gonna wait until I go to the airport to get these Philippines mugs. Over on this side is Manila. I gotta get both of those. Baby Rich Kids Playground right here, the Play Store. You can get your high-end toys over this way. This has gotta be like the daycare play session area. It is, play at Okada Manila. Man, they are amazing. This is top notch. And this is called the candy shop right here. In this hallway, you can pick up as many candies and potato chips as you want. Ooh, I love Pocky. Pocky strawberry is amazing. I grew up eating nerds, that's why I probably had hella cavities. This is awesome. You can weave in and out of this main shop area. And then the casino's in the inside, but I know I can't film in there, so I'm not gonna even try. Just with my phone, I guess. Oh man, look at this. Little Kobe doll right there and some old school Kobes. This place is called Shoe Game Manila. This is their casino and sports bar. Doesn't look very lively. It's probably not even open right now. This is the casino part right here. <laughs> this is all I'm gonna show you guys. 
Thought I'd get in trouble. There is a reward circle, Okada Manila Reward Circle. This is their app you can download. This place looks fancy. It's called Cove Manila. I would have to say this place is like three times bigger than Soler. Man. I was told there's a fountain show here at the top of the hour outside. Wow, it's really dark out here right now, but there's a lot of people gathering, so let's check it out. Look at that. That's the inside and the resort area. And the middle part is a huge lake. And the stage right here, peep this lake right here. We're gonna have to check out this uh, show real quick. Cool. It's about a five-minute show. A little reminiscent of Bellagio. Need me a little pick-me-up, and then I will sit down and compare both resorts and tell you which one I like best. And this mall we're walking around is actually a Miracle Mile type shop. Half of it's not even open yet. And that one Manila place I was showing you guys earlier, that was a beach club. They're actually doing like a daycation beach club here. So it really is reminiscent of Encore and the Wind here. All right, I'm gonna succumb to Randy's Donuts. I got the matcha cream from Randy's Donuts. It was 160 pesos, so it's only about like three bucks. I feel like I take two sips of this and it's gone. It's all ice in the inside. It's refreshing though. Enough energy to get me back to BGC. This place right here is called Enbu. Japanese style. This place right here is Filipino food. Quesina Garden Bistro. They have a boodle fight if you want. This is the look inside of their medley buffet here in Okada. Man, I don't think I could handle a buffet though. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Doesn't look too crazy. It's a decent sized buffet. Really nice classy looking restaurant here. La Piazza Ristorante Italiano. Check out this Firefly Fairy. Really nice. Then you got a Perla Club down the way. Cow Cow Milk Cheese Factory over here towards the end. Yeah, so only about half of this Miracle Mile-like circle mall is open. Look, it blocks off right here. And then this is a really cool area with cherry blossoms. It's a nice little cherry blossom Japanese garden here. Ooh, they even have a cha time here. Like a little aquarium background with these cherry blossoms. And finally, you have 7-Eleven. That's so random, there's a 7-Eleven in such a nice area. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm Filipino and this is a Korean restaurant, but I used to call this place in Convoy in San Diego, Taeguki, because it was spelled T-A-E, but it's Te, An Sim Te. But before I knew that, I would probably call this An Sim Tae. Final verdict, Okada versus Soler. I don't think it's any competition. I think Okada takes the cake. The casino is like four times the size of Soler's. Uh, there's a ton of slot machines, I'm telling you. A ton of, it's like smaller digital slot machines and more table games than in Vegas. A lot of blackjack, a lot of pie gal, a lot of baccarat. Uh, they actually do have smoking sections in the middle of the casino, like the center bar is like their smoking section. That water show here is amazing. I like their mini miracle mile shop. It does give me the feel of a encore slash win here at Okada. So Okada takes the cake 100%. Sorry Solaire, kind of bored me and rubbed me the wrong way when I walked in. So 
Definitely the wind goes to Okada. It's definitely comparable to a top class hotel in Vegas, top class resort in Vegas. So that's all I got to say about that. And uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Jcation and my new channel, Jcation San Diego. If you want to see more things from the Philippines like this, this is my wheelhouse, guys. Vegas is my playground, so covering a resort like this is awesome. We'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of me, stay traveling. Manila. Let's go. Tayo na.